Dear participants in the conference, members of the organizing committee, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure for me to present our work in this conference. The topic of uh, today's presentation is Catalytic Transformation of Lignocellulose Biomass over Acidic and Metal Modified Zeolites and Ordered Mesoporous Material. The contents of this presentation will be reason for utilization of lignocellulose biomass for fuels, fine and bulk chemical. As we all know, the scarcity of natural resources, depletion of fossil fuels, uh, makes us search for alternative renewable materials. And lignocellulose biomass is one of the main candidates for such application. In this presentation, I'm also going to discuss catalytic versus non-catalytic transformation of lignocellulose biomass. The main explanation I will be giving uh, regarding the, the catalytic transformation. Why catalytic transformation? Because it yields high selectivity to desired products, enhanced productivity for utilization of bioresources, and less generation of residuals and environmental friendly. Hence, utilization of lignocellulose biomass for fuels and fine chemicals are of great uh, importance. So in this presentation, the main focus of research has been influence of types of metals, especially platinum and ruthenium. A detailed investigation regarding how, uh, how uh, the influence of uh, methods of metal modification, such as ion exchange, impregnation. Furthermore, the study uh, compares different types of catalytic support, such as aluminosilicate zeolite, pillared zeolites, alumina, ordered mesoporous materials, such as MCM41, MCM48, SBA15. Furthermore, during this presentation, I will give a detailed explanation regarding the role of different acid sites such as Bronsted and Lewis acid sites, the structure of zeolites and mesoporous material in catalytic transformation of biomass. Uh, furthermore, the main model compounds that has been taken into consideration while studying uh, uh, here is cellulose, hemicellulose, and levoglucosol. Uh, furthermore, the industrial feedstock such as bleached birch betula craft pulp, a mixture of cellulose and hemicellulose have also been studied. Reactions studied in this work are hydrolytic hydrogenation of cellulose and hemicellulose, hydrolysis of hemicellulose, and transformation of levoglucosan. I will also be giving a detailed description regarding the reaction mechanism uh, of different reactions studied in this work. Catalyst deactivation and regeneration will further be elaborated in this work. So uh, the materials that has been in depth studied here are different types of microporous zeolites such as beta 25, MCM 22 uh, material with various silica to aluminum ratios. We have also studied here aluminosilicate pillared zeolites such as MCM36 uh, with varying silica to aluminum ratio. Ordered mesoporous material with large pore size such as MCM41, MCM48 and F uh, SBA15 has been studied in this work modified with platinum and ruthenium. One may ask, you know, why we have selected platinum and ruthenium. Our hypothesis is that these novel materials will lead us to more highly value added products. And that's why we have selected these two metals. Now here I present a detailed uh, schematic presentation of our testing system in the gas phase. So here is transformation of, uh, studied is transformation of levoglucosan. Now you can see here we have a micro reactor which is filled with catalyst. 
the packing procedure is that we have a cordial followed by a catalyst then again cordial and glass balls this is for a better distribution of the the heat and mass transfers and furthermore that this, the the sample the li uh, liquid product is fed to the evaporator where the evaporation takes place and the uh, gases uh, forms of the of the reactant passes through the reactor the products is condensed uh, uh, in this vessel and the gas phase is uh, analyzed online detailed description of the testing equipment equipment and further uh, evaluation of the catalyst can be found found in our work here uh, in uh, biomass and bioenergy now after we have studied what we find is that transformation of lego glucosan is highly influenced by the residence time the residence time has been studied by use by varying the mass of the catalyst that is different uh, amounts of catalyst were tested. We find that at, with larger amount of catalyst, we have formation of acetaldehyde, formaldehyde, and glycolaldehyde. Furthermore, we see that we also have formation of products such as acetic acid and acetone. Uh, when we change the support, uh, that is ordered mesoporous material, we find a dramatic change in the types of product form. So here you can see in the graph the transformation of levoglucosan uh, with varying uh, residence time over MCM41 type of mesoporous material with large pore size. We have glycolaldehyde, acetaldehyde, and formaldehyde as the products formed uh, when the support MCM41 has been used. Now, in this slide, you uh, come to, to know the uh, testing of the, the catalyst, MCM48, in liquid phase using a batch reactor. Here we have studied the non-catalytic transformation, that is, without using any catalyst and using MCM48. Now, before we have studied uh, this catalyst, we have studied the different particle size of this material and the most suitable particle size used in this work was from 150 to 250 microns. The pressure used was 20 bar uh, applied with organ and uh, the catalyst testing temperature was 150 degree. Now when we go into the details of the reaction mechanism of transformation of uh, levoglucosan, we find that levoglucosan can directly be transferred to acetaldehyde. It also makes furfural and formaldehyde. Levoglucosan further uh, goes to make glycolaldehyde, which is further transferred to, uh, uh, to formaldehyde and to uh, other products uh, such as methanol. Acetic acid and acetone are also formed during the transformation of levoglucosan uh, to different products over uh, microporous and mesoporous materials. Now here uh, in this slide uh, I'm presenting a different reaction and this is hydrolytic hydrogenation of cellulose. What we see here it's a typical uh, experimental setup for testing of the, the catalyst in a liquid phase in a batch reactor. We have here a uh, stirred batch reactor and the reactant is introduced via this pre-reactor pre which is also, also heated. Here also the catalysts were first uh, evaluated by varying the different particle size and the selected particle size of the catalyst was 150 to 250 micron. The reactant used here was an industrial bleached birch betula dissolved in 50 milliliter of deionized water. The pressure used uh, here was 20 bar using hydrogen and testing temperature was 185 degree. What we find here is that uh, uh, the transformation of this uh, betula birch takes place over 
uh, MCM48. Now, uh, we see here that silos is formed, silos, 5-hydroxymethyl furfural, furfural alcohol, glucose, and furfural are formed. But the moment we use platinum-modified MCM48, and here I would like to emphasize the role of platinum metal, you come across that we get sorbitol and uh, solitol. This is one of the first uh, uh, results that we have, we report here, uh, that in presence of uh, platinum over MCM48, we could directly transfer this to, sil to silitol and sorbitol. Besides, other products are, of course, glucose, furfural, and, and silos. The detailed reaction mechanism of the hydrolytic hydrogenation of bleached bird craft pulp can, is, is explained here as follows. So, uh, it, this uh, cellulose from the, uh, the, the mill goes to uh, silos. Dehydrocyclization uh, from, uh, f uh, makes furfural, and furfural further goes to make furfural alcohol. It also makes sal salitol. Furthermore, this um, pulp mill cellulose is transformed to glucose dehydrocyclization to 5-hydroxymethyl uh, uh, furfural. Formation of solito, uh, sorbitol uh, with hydrogenation from glucose to, uh, that is from, from glucose, and then decarboxylation of glucose to furfural. Now, I would like to emphasize once again that, you know, different products that can be obtained here are really attributed to the acid sites and the noble metal that has been introduced in this reaction. Now, if you look into to details of the hydrologic hydrogenation, we could conclude that hydrologic hydrogenation of bleachcraft will proceed via two reaction mechanisms. First is the formation of silos from hemicellulose present in the, in the pulp and formation of glucose from cellulose. Platinum modified MCM48 gives hydrogenation of monosulfide over platinum to products of silitol and sorbitol. Dehydration reaction takes place over acid sites of the mesoporous material and also microporous material, which forms silos to furfural, glucose to 5 hydroxymethyl furfural. Now, one another one very important aspect that we have to take into consideration is that during these reactions, catalyst deactivation takes place. It's a fact, it is unavoidable, but the catalyst can be regenerated. So what we have observed uh, in our uh, work is that during the catalyst transformation of le levoglucosan in gas and liquid phase, uh, coke formation takes place, and that is the main reason for the catalyst deactivation. Now, how does the, uh, this deactivation mechanism uh, occurs? It's because of the blockage of the pores of the catalyst via formation of the cores uh, of the coke, and this reduces the surface area. That means surface area of the spent catalyst is smaller than that of the fresh catalyst. But the positive thing is that all these deactivated catalysts can be fully regenerated, surface area completely regained, and the catalyst can be reused except one of the mesoporous material. Now here I present the results of the fresh and spent catalyst. As you can see here, beta zeolite, a fresh catalyst, 580 meters square per gram. However, the spent catalyst, uh, much lower surface area and regenerated catalyst is 550. That means the coke was possible to be burned out from the pores of the catalyst and surface area regained. Only exception you find here is MCM48 where even after the regeneration we could not uh, regain the, the surface area. But all other catalysts, uh, spent catalyst was possible to be regenerated and reused. Now to summarize this presentation, I think uh, I have shown you that transformation of ligoglucosan by uh, uh, lignocellulose biomass was influenced by 
different types of acid sites such as Brown's and Lewis and structural properties of the catalyst. Furthermore, I showed you in this presentation the importance of platinum and uh, ruthenium metal particles in the product distribution and selectivity to the desired product. You have also seen that the catalyst exhibited partial deactivation with time and stream. However, these catalysts were possible to be regenerated and the spent catalyst reused. Thank you very much for listening to this presentation.